Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We're a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. In today's episode, we're looking at a very special project car. This is a Ford GT40 replica that is powered by a GM or Chevy LS3 motor. That's nice. I finally got the rear body down. It's been the last thing to come down, and I think it's just ready to go back on. What the um, heck is this? So it's a combined fuel pressure regulator and filter. Ah, okay. Um, Interesting. So it's a nice kind of all-in-one. And you got your air cleaner up top there, the tube yeah. coming down. I got a, th that's an area that I haven't figured out how I want to finalize it. Um, so Scoop. We, yeah, <laughs> we, 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 when the body goes on it, yeah, you just kind of just clamp on and say. So when the body goes on it, it, it seals kind of around. Yeah. And then there's little, like almost kind of NECA scoops that come in and feed fresh air. Ooh. But, this intake just doesn't work with any because it, it's used to like Weber carburetor stacks. Yeah, right yeah. Right next to your head. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've got some boxing in to do. <laughs> I've actually got individual throttle bodies for this. I just was I kept having issues with the with the tune and some uh, intake leaks. Yeah, and I remember you were gonna run ITBs. Yeah, right? so I, I've still got it. I just uh, it was at the point where I was spending too much time on that rather yeah. than I wanted to drive it, test the transmission, get everything else shooken out. And I'll, got, I'll, I'll go back to that later. You got the shell together pretty good. You don't have that far to go. Oh, maybe. You know, it's, so it's seen two miles of, of, of the road now. Yeah. Um, the um, seats are all ready and, and in, but they, they've been taken back out because I was rerunning some wiring. Yeah, yeah. I got to finish the transmission tunnel. How much, when, when the seats are, did you have much leg room at all? <laughs> no. Probably not. <laughs> and, and, and the weird, so the weird, like, because you're, you're taller than me, you're about six one. You're down, and your your feet is above your butt. Yeah. Um, and it's super <laughs> cramped, but there's enough space that I don't have to do the gurney bubble, and right. I, I can fit with a helmet. Really? So that, that's all. Yeah, you're what, six two? I, I'm, I'm six. Six? Right around, yeah. Um, so it's, it's not terrible. Okay. Um, but it's, it feels much more like kind of a formula style. It's more of a car for little guys that lay, <laughs> lay back. Um, wow, so the, this is a C5 suspension, Corvette? Yeah. Yep. And then... Um, Dude, look at I that. I just finished, my, my friend helped me, he helped design the rocker, the push rod piece, and then I finished the, the upper um, shock mount. So it's wow. all, all inboard. It, it, um, was, it, was this the way it was meant from the... Uh, yeah. So the, the problem was, um, the, no, the way that he did it was that it would come, like the shock would just come down here. Okay. But it was cantilevered off the, the main mount huh. because it was getting too close to the drive shaft. Yeah, yeah. But then when it was doing that, it was pushing the bushing. Like you'd get like an inch of deflection at, at static. Right? Huh. So I was worried it was going to just pop the whole thing. And so we're like, eh, like I, this is the one area that actually has space in the car. Yeah. So Dude. And, and, you know, who doesn't love an inboard just mentioned that you can swap things out and change Ratios pretty quickly. <laughs> that is a sweet yeah, setup. Your lift system, that's really nice. I wouldn't mind putting one of these in. So, the, like the nice thing, like um, after this, I'll, I'll lift it all the way up, and then I can pull the M3 in. Nice. And then it'll stay out for. Where'd you get the lift system? Filler neck supply. Um, bin? Is, is it a bin pack? I forget what. Was um, supply company. No, Atlas. Atlas. Okay, so, so I looked at these lifts. Yeah. yeah. So they're they're down in Portland. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I've seen these lists before. They're not actually. They're pretty affordable. What they do. Yeah, and it's like twenty two, twenty four hundred. But then, the, 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 so the one thing I don't like about a, a four post is that you can't. It's harder to jack it. So then I, you get a center jack system. You can kind of see it there, and it'll spread out in between. And it's got a little hand lever, so then you can jack up the car and do all your suspension work. Oh, I got you. So you gotcha. add that, then that's an extra three hundred, and then you know here and there and delivery. You end up with around 3000 3000 Do they, do they oh. assemble it all for you, too? No. <laughs> no. So, yeah. get some That'd be a lot more than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the first time I definitely had friends because I was worried. Um, <laughs> and so the, the nice thing, like, you don't even have to bolt it to the floor. They actually give you little pinned rollers that pin in here, put a roller here, mm -hmm. and when you lower it down on it, it rolls up on wheels, caster oh. wheels. And so like, if you've got a big shop... You can leave a car on it, put it on the wheels, and two people can move this around. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, that's really cool. So, yeah, you actually, the, the wheels are hanging up. Two of them are over there. Okay. Um, what is, did you custom fab the uh, exhaust? The uh, headers? No. I was so, going to say. So, a few pieces, yeah. So, I had him do the headers, uh, and then, yeah, just about everything else. Um, 
Are you going to put lights in it? Yeah. That's, that's the a much bigger. Um, I think we'll take the body on, and I think i got to figure out if I need lights. Um, and then I, I really want to get it to an autocross and start shaking it down. Mm. Um, Can you get the doors open? What's that? The doors open? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you find it fit in, like, uh, does it fit together pretty tight, or? Uh, no, <laughs> it's... It, for the price, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. It, it, it's a mold of a mold. Um, it, it actually, he was he, awesome to work with. Yeah. Um, and so it, it all came pre somewhat assembled. So the, the lines all matched up fairly well. But like the rear quarters are kind of hard to see. You know, but like you see like right here. Yeah. There, there's a lot of, a good amount of sanding and some body work that will be needed. Um, and then we added the door, like kind of the NASCAR door style, door bars. Yeah. And then I added this piece. Um, it's it kind of, yeah, cool. Because it, it, it's uh, so the, the, this lets you get in. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, I, I've seen the, these cages where they because you have to go through the center because the, the door extends in. But if you get in a rollover, th this part will push right into this, the passenger. Oh, wow. And so then I, I, I kept going back and forth and I found these for drag cars that they'll do door bars with a little pin. And I'm like, it's perfect. Yeah. The only thing is, if you have to get out quickly, you got to make sure you pull the pin, <laughs> pull the jet. And so the the first drive, I was driving around the, just the neighborhood, and I and I look back, and I'm going like 10 miles an hour, and smoke spilling out of the engine. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap! So I pull over, I'm like pulling the pin, wrench myself out, and and the um, dipstick had popped off. I don't think I'd ever sat all the way in. It was just. Uh. Yeah, so l luckily, you know, no engine fire. Yeah, anytime you travel, right, you got duct tape and zip ties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty quick fix. Nice. What are you running for brakes? So it's the C5 Corvette Z06. Okay. Oh, wow. um, just All around? Worried. Yeah. They're right. awfully woody right now. They did not feel gravity, but <laughs> they're, you know, old pads and they're like no name pads, so. I've seen a lot of people really raving about the wheel blades. The wheel winds brakes? Yeah. Yeah, we, I haven't even given it much thought. My only thought, though, was this is about a 1,000 pounds less than a Corvette. So yeah. if it was good for the Z06, I've got more power, but from a weight perspective. Yeah. So you're going to be at, like, 2,400 pounds? or? Yeah, 22, 24, something Dude, in that range. that's so light. Wow. That much power. And then it's, it's 627. 627 horses? Yeah. Dyno tune? Yeah. Wow. It's a, it's a Blueprint 427 LS3. Um, so that, to, that engine's in perfect position too. I bet you hook up real good. It's awfully close, right? Like you, you feel it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I'm right just there. thinking from weight distribution perspective. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's yeah. pretty much right there. So I don't think you'll have any issues with that much power. I think it, I think it's just gonna haul butt. Dude, and these these meats. I mean, these are Toyo Proxies R88s. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing is like you know in the two zero sixty. How big are these? 315s? 315s, I think, like 255s in the front. Wow. Um, those, those are the same size as my Porsche. We're not allowed. That's a lot of meat. There's the uh, the rear cover. This takes up a lot of space. It, it's usually <laughs> the stashed up there, and I finally brought it down. And, like, I ran out of space very quickly. Oh, and you, you built yourself a gurney flap on the back here? Yeah, a little, like, this is kind of the, one of those kind of standard um, that was seen on a lot of the cars. Okay. It looks like you have a very understanding wife that's giving up the <laughs> <laughs> I haven't bothered to do the other side. I'm like, oh, I need one filter for a while. Well, what do you got here? You got a little, little cooling system going on? Radiator. Yeah. Yep, radiator. And so then it's got the, the, the dual hood extractor that, that'll go on the top. All right. Um, so I, I got a car. I, I haven't cut out that piece yet. Yeah. And then you're right, all the normal brake and clutch stuff. Yeah. And then, and then that's why you can see all the pedals. Five-speed? Yeah. Five-speed sequential and floor-mounted pedals. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And then this is, the, it's a drive-by-wire yeah. uh, throttle, mm -hmm. which, that's so easy. Right? You just plug in a couple of things. I got all the gauges from Speed Hut, and they do an OBD2 connection. Oh, nice. So you it and you get, all, you get oil pressure, you get you know, all, all the temperatures that you need. Um, it, just need the OBD2, huh? Super simple.
So how did you, did you just sit in here when you took it around for a spin, Peter? No, I, 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 I have the, the seat right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> like... Just one seat, though. I, I, so, like, the brake line's exposed, so I'm using the rear brakes with a, a valve to actually do my e-brake. Ah. Just to simplify. <laughs> yeah. And so it's kind of open, and so I'm trying to finish the, 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 the box out, right? There's a whole box that, that, that does the transmission tunnel. Uh-huh. This thing's got a harness, right? So it's like, it's not like a regular seat belt. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. So you got a harness. Five-point harness. Take it for drive. Oh, those are, those are the uh, mounts for the harness, huh? Yeah. Oh, what are the wheels on this thing? So they're, they're knockoffs, they, but they, they're made to look like the originals that were um, on the Center locks. Yeah, center locks, right? Yeah. So, right, so it's, it's this piece that actually threads in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, then, and then these little pieces cover all the, the lug nuts. That's awesome. It's uh, kind of super fakey, cool. but you know, like, it at least gives it the right, gives the right, the right look. Feel, the right look. The right know, look. Kind of like correct, uh, correct yeah. uh, position. But I mean, the reliability and the ease of not having to get a hammer every time to knock them off. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, for sure. Do, do they have to be custom made, the wheels? or? No, these are these fit straight up. Oh, and wow. That's one of the reasons why he went with a Corvette spin track. All the old suspensions like super long control arms yeah. that are made for really thick, tall tires. And, and then you know, the, <laughs> there's no really good old tire, right, for yeah. like, actual performance. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so the, the, doing all new suspension and everything that's designed to work with modern tires is, is a key. That's pretty slick. <clears throat> pretty slick. Dude. I can't believe that uh, Mendiola was twenty five grand. <laughs> yeah, but you've done a nice job. I mean, this is yeah. Really nice Do that cool. again. <laughs> that is really cool. So cool. So you uh, cantilever suspension. Uh, one night after a, a couple of drinks, you decided to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna cross cameras with you. Oh, that's surprised amazing. I'm surprised there wasn't flames Ooh. shooting out the back. So, the first time there was, I had, I had the throttle, individual throttle bodies on, and there's huge exhaust leaks that I was dealing with. And so it was running, I, I think in the end, it was running um, really lean. Yeah. Mm. And it was just all the fuel was going, and it was just crackling and popping. <laughs> and I got a cool shot of, with the video on it, and this huge flame coming out. <laughs> Get the fan system going. Yeah, it, this thing <laughs> saves me. It, it's all awesome. I got a little filter box so that when I kick out to the neighbors, it doesn't hopefully bother anybody. <laughs> so the, the other piece that um, right, is on one garage, but like, so I've got a little curtain, and I can do the pull of the curtain, so I can do all my dirty stuff. Uh uh, and shield it. And isolated.